This demo is to show you how to set up and use the Mako MA28 audiometer. Before using the device, plug in the headphones ensuring the red plug is inserted and fully seated into the red jack, and the blue plug is inserted and fully seated into the blue jack. Insert the bone transducer headset into the green jack. Attach the patient response switch to the black jack if you prefer to use this accessory. Attach the plug onto the AC adapter, making sure it is pushed all the way down until you hear a click. Connect the power cord to the AC adapter and to the back of the device. Plug into the wall outlet. Power on device by pressing the power button. Place the headphones directly over the child's ears with the red phone on the right ear and blue on the left. Remove any obstructions that may interfere or be uncomfortable, such as glasses. Adjust the headband so the headphones are centered over the ear canal. Select or confirm the ear selection with the function keys. Select the test frequency with the frequency buttons. Plus will increase the frequency and minus will decrease the frequency selection. Select the volume level with the left hearing level dial and press the tone switch one to two seconds to present the tone. When bone conduction is the preferred testing method, select bone from the function keys. Masking is also available with the MA28 for air or bone conduction. To activate, turn the masking level dial to the right and set the preferred level. To turn off, turn the dial to the left until dashes are displayed within the level indicator. Results can be captured on the included audiogram pad, printed to a 3-inch thermal printer, or stored in the device to allow PC transfer. For PC transfer, the device should be connected to the PC while the test is being performed. Upon completion of the test, wipe down the headphones and any portion that came into contact with a patient with a disinfectant wipe. To access the settings menu, press the More function key until menu is viewed on the screen. Select F3 to access the menu. Examples of some settings include startup default level, and test frequencies can be adjusted to allow for faster testing times. Thank you for watching this instructional video.